Well, the fall colors are starting to set in, but it's still 17 degrees in middle October in New Brunswick. It's a great day for riding. to New Brunswick. Well, good morning. We're here at the Bay of Fundy and we're off to go see Hopewell Rocks this morning to go see the largest tides in the world. Fundy at Hopewell Rocks and it's high tide as you can see. Let's see what it looks like at low tide. Wow, what a difference a couple hours makes. It sure does. Look, Look at, at the difference in the water level. So where it was before, it's dropped roughly 43 feet since that couple hours ago. So just from where the water was to the sand below it is roughly 28 feet. And then the difference is to where the water is right now. So I'm right near the water's edge. And this is where you can see how large the tide is. It's not quite low tide yet. But if you look at Lucinda, she is. The tide was right up at that green line about 12 feet above her. So why are these the largest tides in the world here? It's because of the shape of the inlet. And what it's like is just think of it as the bathtub effect. When all that water comes to the end, it pushes against the end before it heads back out to sea. So twice a day the tide comes in and out, about 40 feet or more, and it goes up to that green line on the rock there. And they do measure it and it erodes about one millimeter per year. So eventually every one of these will tip over. So this one's called Elephant Rock. <laughs> Can you see it? Here's our boondocking location for tonight in Hillsboro, New Brunswick. Wow, what a location. And it's even got a view. I know I am. <laughs> Are you talking about me again? Here's the other view I was talking about. <laughs> We're in Elma, New Brunswick this morning for low tide. Look at those boats. And here we are two hours later. Wow. Today we're taking a ride on the Fundy Trail, heading south to St. John, New Brunswick. Well, we're now on the Fundy Trail Parkway. This is the east end of it, the east entrance. And there was a fee to go on this road. It's $11 per person. And it's not even showing up on my map here. So my, I think my GPS is out of date. So I didn't get the camera on in time for that last sign. But here it is, we got a 15% grade. Which a lot of roads are not normally that steep. I know GoPros don't show inclines very well. But man, this is a steep hill. <laughs> well, we took a stop halfway down the Fundy Trail <laughs> to go on this suspension bridge. <laughs> you can really feel it move around. <laughs> the camera probably doesn't show it, but... <laughs> that valley that we just went through, I think it was called Big Salmon River. Now that area was really big for lumber. It had a sawmill there between 1850 and 1940. 
And I guess they had like 20 buildings and it was 30 some odd families that lived there. But then there was a fire at the sawmill in the 40s and that was it. Now this area, I think this road was continued on and, and redone around 2008, I saw a picture of. And it's just a very new area to start growing some tourism. But what a fantastic road. Great road for motorcycles. There we go. That's the Fundy Trail Parkway. Man, I sure enjoyed that ride. I took a video here earlier this morning when the river was going towards the ocean. Now here it is at noon and the river's going the opposite direction. This is Reversing Falls. Well, we're on our way to Heartland today and we're gonna try to find the world's longest covered bridge. It's not hard to find, it's really close to the highway. <laughs> but knowing me, I might take a wrong turn somewhere. Today we traveled from Fredericton, that's where it was, to Heartland to come to the Covered Bridge Potato Factory. We were going to go on a tour, and online it says it's open, but today it's closed. Oh well. Off to the next stop. Let's go see if we can let's find go, a covered bridge. Let's go see the actual covered bridge. <laughs> so we stuck around for a few minutes and it was open. Yay! It was just lunchtime. <laughs> so we got a great tour of the covered bridge potato chip factory. Yeah, it's amazing how they, how they do it. And they said that people still like the chips afterwards. Here's the self-guided tour where they talk about the history of the potato chip, but it also shows you the process of how they make the potato chip. And here's the sorting line, and then the bag. The history of the potato chip was invented in 1853 by George Crumb. And in 1920s, Herman Lay made it popular by selling them out of the trunk of his car, the first successful brand. Look at all the different flavors that are in different countries. So that's one of my vices, potato chips. So we had to leave with some. <laughs> okay, let's go find a bridge. Let's go find the bridge. Now we're coming up to the covered bridge. There's the bridge right ahead of us. So as far as I understand, this bridge was built in 1901 and it's the longest covered bridge in the world. There it is, it says 1,282 feet. Okay, here we go, let's go through it. So when this bridge was originally built, it was not a covered bridge. So my understanding was it was built in 1901, but it became a covered bridge in 1920. I think it became a national historic site by 1990. Hey look, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. There we go. Been there, done it. Okay, we're gonna go through the bridge again. Now I remember Dad used to make us, whenever we went through tunnels or cover or bridges, he used to make us lift our feet, close our eyes, and hold our breath and make a wish. That was a superstition he used to get us to do all the time when we were traveling. There we go. That's a long bridge to hold your breath. 
So this would be a great road for, <laughs> it would be. <laughs> so this is a great road to be on on a motorcycle. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> <laughs> Even when there's a power outage and we take a motel room, at least we still have TV. <laughs> My guy's so amazing! Thanks to our generator. <laughs> One good thing about carrying your trailer everywhere you go.